Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here, and this is Until Dawn. Uh, this is a horror game, which, uh, I love and already hate, so pretty excited about starting this. It's been a while since I've played a good horror game, and so I am pretty excited about this. The one thing that I know about Until Dawn is that your choices that you have to make, like, in the moment, have a real tangible impact on kind of who lives and who dies. That's really all that I know. Um, I'm excited to get into it, so I think we're gonna do just that. I've got subtitles on. Uh, one thing I'm gonna say is just to remember to set the vibe. What that means is headphones on, lights off, volume up. Here we go. We're not wasting any time. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. <laughs> Don't you guys think this is a little bit wrong? Come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. <sighs> just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> What's the <laughs> you say, darling? Oh, no, I already, nope, I'm not gonna like this. Mike. Oh, God. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Oh, this is gonna go so bad. Just be us this weekend. Josh. Okay. We can do that. Hanny looks so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m., Mike. That's oh setting up God. a little. Prank, what did my naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Intervention time. We've got something here. What is this? Jeremiah Krog. What is that? It's a whiskey. Jeez, Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Mm. So. I got your note. Glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh my god, she's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt, 
Oh, this is so bad. What are you doing here? Oh. Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, this all got out of Just a stupid prank. Uh. Oh, hey. You guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah! The guy with the selfie stick has to die first. Use the right stick to choose. Wake Josh or find- Wake Josh! 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 Fuck! Oh, that's great. Guys! There's someone outside! What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han! What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! No, not by yourself. So, should we go after her? Yes. You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Press the correct action button before oh, the timer runs out, okay? Now, do these have life or death consequences? Safe mode, safe mode. Fast is just asking to break our neck. Whoa. Follow noise or follow footprints? Footprints. Kind of grammar right now. Okay, use the touchpad as shown. All right, let's unlock our phone, I guess. Cool. Hannah. Status update. What does that mean? You can direct the light beam using the right stick. Got it. Not really seeing footprints. Ah! Oh, mother goddamn frick. Ah! Okay, okay, I see how it's gonna be. Yep, I got it. This is great. I already hate myself. What have I signed up for? Hello? Hello? We got a shoe. Or, what is this? That's not a shoe. Whoa! A death totem. Okay, what? What is this now? The events of the past. Totem prophecies. Black death. The possible death of the person who finds it. Indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. The butterfly effect. Any of your business? Okay, we must- these must take place later. Oh, look at this! Okay. As you're playing with each character, it tells you some of their traits. Honest, charitable, funny, brave, romantic, curious. Fine. Relationship status. We're closest with Hannah. Um, Josh and Sam. Oh, this is kind of cool. The twins. What the frick? 1952. No clues. 
Mystery man. No clues. Okay, so th this is filling out this column. We have guidance. Oh, cool. Yellow's guidance. A vision of guidance for a future choice. Indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Yeah, okay, same stuff. Um, as you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. The potential loss of a friend. The threat of a future danger. Prophecy of good fortune. Okay. So the one that we got, though, this is... What is this? Events of the past. What? It's like nothing. Found on the mountain by Beth, and you see her like falling and breaking her back. Oh my god, okay. So let's be wary of any heights. Subtle or otherwise. Hello. What the hell was that? That was fire. Like, I would be out of here. What is Hannah. that? Hannah. Hello? Hannah. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Oh, what? Hannah, is that? Instagram this. No. No. Oh, this is this is for sure where we're gonna do this. We're gonna fall and break our back. No. Oh my god. What the frick was that? I'm not gonna drop her. This is terrible. Yep, we're dead. Oh. What? Man, like, what if that guy was trying to help us? And if we chose the other one... Oh, maybe she just... Oh my god, I don't know. Whoa, okay. Before we begin... Oh, look at this guy. There are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, uh -huh. no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. No pressure. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right, we will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up cards? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. Oh, it, man. It is okay. Essential. 
that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Brutally honest, let's go. Oh, he's creepy. Oh, what? Who are we? Okay, a scarecrow in front of a barn. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. So we have a hat. Uh, it, scarecrows do make me feel uneasy, so... Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Scarecrows, definitely. Yeah, for sure. What I see, I see. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Let's say a week, for example. On my own? In a barn? Eh, uh, not. I'd rather not. Oh no? Why not? <laughs> I'll admit it. Is there something else in that picture that scares you? Um, not really. It's just like the empty barn, but I don't have anything specific. Well, that's interesting. Well, I'm afraid we're out of time for now. But please, I would like you to contemplate what it is that it's missing from that picture. Hmm? A hmm. thing that's driving you fear. We need to unwrap it. Don't you agree? But the next time. <laughs> it's more the fear of the unknown, I think. Always. Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. One year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Listeners, an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and oh. headed out into a snowstorm. Okay. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. 
Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this. And I, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and you know okay oh he's so, the brother let's party like we're fucking porn stars okay make this one trip we will never forget all right he also doesn't blink which yes. is a little bit disconcerting Hannah's best friend, diligent, considerate, adventurous. Her name is Sam. Okay. Hello? Someone there? Path to the cable car station, it's 9 o'clock. I don't suppose we have a phone, do we? Get some light going on here. Move the camera, yeah, okay. Foreboding gates ahead. Now, they did mention that there's a sanatorium here as well, which... If I was a betting man, I would say there's a 99% chance that we're gonna end up there. The gates busted climb over. Oh, what? Chris. Hey, oh. <sighs> Damn it. Oh, Jesus, never mind. Well. <laughs> you figure? Can we climb the wall? I mean, it's not a race at this point. Last thing we need to do is... Whoa. We really gotta be paying attention here. Just keep climbing. We're cool. Okay, on our toes. Watching us. Aww. Hey, little 
Bye when the bye. don't move icon is on the screen, keep Love the wireless bye. controller as still as possible. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. If you're unsure of what to do next, you can press... Or you can see your current objective by pressing R1. Head to the cable car station. Okay. She's pretty, uh, I guess she's relatively in the similar type of relationship with everybody. Quite brave, very charitable, very honest. The honesty thing is, is interesting. I wonder if it's worth, like, jotting these down so they don't have to reference that, but... And also, do things change? Like, do people honestly change over time? It's possible. Can we read stuff? Oh, yeah, okay. Indigenous <laughs> people in the butterfly cool. prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believe that butterflies carry dreams and prophecies of possible futures. Color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. So these are like the totem things that we found, right? Death, black butterflies prophesize the dreamer's death. Danger, red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Hello. This looks like a... a I'm guessing yellow? As you explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Picking a totem up and turning it will reveal a colored butterfly and premonition of a possible future. bird. A guidance totem. Okay. Vision of guidance for a future choice. Found near the lower cable car station by Sam. Now, I don't know the pure significance there. And that's... Yeah, okay. The future is uncertain. Whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on choices you make. Alright, so even if we see a totem, it's not guaranteed. View the collection at any time. I don't know what the twins are. 952 Mystery Man totems. Oh, and actually, hold on a second. The events of the past. Now we've got two little bars down there. Whoa. No, thank you. We're good. There's a backpack here. Chris, are you here? Not in the bag, are you? This better not be a prank. Hello, what do we have here? Oh, this is a setup for sure. Oh, do we want to snoop? You know what? We're gonna be cool. We're gonna be cool. Maybe I should look around Chris's stuff. Butterfly effect appears when your actions have changed the narrative of the game. Chris. Sam, hey, you made it. Has a crush on Ashley. Okay, methodical, protective, humorous. Has glasses like another Chris that I know. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. Status update. Okay. Oh, 